Here's a problem that came up while solving a second order ODE using Laplace transforms. The question is, what is the inverse transform of the function h of s, where h of s is given by 1 over s multiplied by s squared plus 2s plus 10? So first step in solving this is to rewrite h of s as a sum of two fractions. So um, you can see here that we'll have one of the factors in the denominator is certainly s. And then, well, there, this might factor, so if it factored, we'd have three terms, but notice that b squared minus 4ac, in this case, is equal to 4 minus 40, which is minus 36. So that tells us that if we factored this, we would have complex roots. And since we aren't interested in dealing with complex roots, we want to write down a real solution. We will stick to only two factors, both seen here already, so there's no factoring to do. So we add a second fraction that is bs plus c all divided by s squared plus 2s plus 10. Okay, so we know that we we should be able to, as long as we got the form of this right, we should be able to figure out a value of a, b, and c so that this fraction, or this sum of fractions is equal to the one we started with. And by multiplying through by the full denominator on this side, we get that 1 is equal to a, and now the s cancels and I'm left with just the quadratic on this term. And then on bs plus c, when we multiply through by the full denominator, the quadratic cancels and I'm left with just s. So we can group this, let's say the coefficients of s squared will be a and b from over here multiplied by s squared and then the coefficients on the s term well there's only one oh no there's two there it is there's a 2a plus c multiplying the s and now the constant term that i believe there's only one yeah 10a so what we need to do now is match the coefficients. So you'll notice there's only a constant term on this side. So that means that a must be equal to 1 tenth because this term here is the only one that is constant as a function of s. And then we also know that a plus b is equal to 0 and that 2a plus c is equal to 0 as well. So that means that b is equal to minus 1 over 10 and c is equal to minus 2a, which is minus 1 over 5. Okay, so that means that we can now rewrite h of s as uh, 1 over 10 times 1 over s plus and I'm going to break the um, numerator up. I'm going to break it up into two fractions. So I'm going to have a minus 1 over 10 times s divided by s squared plus 2s plus 10. And on the next term here, I have a minus 1 over 5. That's c times... Uh, just 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 10. Okay, get rid of that plus sign there, and that's the minus sign. Okay, so that's partial fraction decomposition, and now we need to invert this function h of s.